the University of Nebraska Junior, <clears throat> who says she was kicked out of her sorority for posting a picture of herself on Tinder with two sorority sisters in their Chi Omega tank tops, accused of breaking the rules. She says she came to a disciplinary meeting ready to record every word as she was confronted by an alumni advisor and a fellow sister. Shannon standing by live. We're going to talk to her in just a moment. But first, ABC's Lindsay Davis has her story. Do you see that you have broken the rule on human dignity and your disrespectful attitude? Um, not really, no. Suggestive, provocative, even risque and promiscuous. According to the University of Nebraska Omaha junior Shannon Workman, that's how one sorority is characterizing this picture she posted on the dating site Tinder. There is no place for personal degradation within the membership of Chi Omega. Workman recorded what she says was her disciplinary meeting with chapter administrators, who can be heard on the tape saying she violated their human dignity rule by wearing a Chi Omega t-shirt in a picture posted on a site they say is meant for finding hookups. No, I think you should have told me to take it down. I would have said yes. I think they did ask you to take it down. Yeah, and I did, and then uh, that should have been the end of it. Well, the appropriate response could have been and should have been, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was a rule. I will take it down. But instead, we had lots of attacking, lots of back and forth, lots of disrespect. And so ultimately, that is where we're at. As Workman questions on the recording why she's still being disciplined, even after taking the picture down, things grow tense. What's happening here, we're not talking about Tinder. We're talking about your attitude. Yes. We're talking about your disrespect. Understand? I was being honest. Okay, that is okay. And that's great. And if I'm going to get kicked out for that, then let it be. At this point, we're going to pursue membership revocation. Okay, so what that means is we will take all of the minutes. Is this a joke? Instead of going through the process of ending her membership, Workman says she decided to walk away on the spot. I'm never coming back. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. And Shannon Workman joins us now. And Shannon, I want to get your reaction to a statement from Chi Omega National Chapter. They say personnel matters are handled by our local chapters. Chi Omega's process offers a series of checks and balances to ensure any sanctions imposed are reasonable and fair. Shannon opted to voluntarily resign her membership. The national organization offers an appeal process to those who do not voluntarily resign. What's your reaction to that? Well, as you could tell in the recording that she pretty much said you're being revoked. And if I would have known about the hearing process, I don't know what I would have done. I, I was so humiliated after all of that, and I don't know. I could hear the emotion in your voice. Yes. Um, I did not know there was any option in pursuing my membership because of what she said to me. So what do you see when you look at that picture? You I posted? see happiness. A big day for a sorority girl is like Christmas. <laughs> Um, I was so happy with my big and my little, and I was with my best friends. What did they see? What did they say they saw when they looked at that? Well, they said that the fact that I was wearing my letters made it um, break a policy that it can't be posted on Tinder, and I asked why I didn't get into the eight-hour warning like everyone else does for social um, media vi violations. And she said it was because um, that it, pictures that are pres Promiscuous or risque in nature require personnel meeting. They said it was suggestive. Yes. You disagree? Com completely. <laughs> Did you know that it was even possible that posting that picture with your sorority letters could get you kicked out or disciplined? Not at all. I even like went back and looked at the policies after the meeting and there was no way I would have ever even thought of that even happening. We heard in the audio recording that uh, that you, they say, you were being disrespectful and aggressive. What happened leading up to that recorded audio meeting? All that I did was text the personnel chair who was in charge of all these meetings and ask for clarification, basically. I was in shock that I would be giving a, given a personnel just because, like, I don't do anything wrong, honestly. How have your former sorority sisters reacted to this? A lot of them have been very supportive of me, so it warms my heart to know that they're still there for me no matter what happens. And your family and friends? They're amazing, and I couldn't have done this without them, and I love them. All right, and, and so where are you now? Now I'm hoping to get the word out there just to spread the word and hope girls stand up for themselves for whatever they believe in. All right, Shannon Workman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate thank you. it.